Okay, so this is Metallica Nothing Else Matters Part 2. Um, if you haven't seen Part 1, go and watch that now, or this isn't going to make a lot of sense to you. Um, we are starting from the end of the last tabs, so where we ended on an open A, an open high E, and the fifth fret on the B string, which is also an E. And we're actually fretting the 5th fret on the G string too because when we get here from the previous part the next note we're going to play is the 5th fret on the G and then the B and then back to the G. Okay, so we're just saving ourselves some time by making sure we land there. Okay. like that okay so from there we are going to be playing the a b and e strings like we did before that's going to be the first thing we play then we're going to play the g and the b back to the g and then we're going to play the second fret on the high e and pull off to open while holding these here on the fifth fret play B, G, B, G, those strings, okay? After that, we're going to be playing the A, G, B, and E strings. And we're going to play them really deliberately, quite slowly, and let them ring out, followed by this next part, it's going to be the A, G and B string all together. We're going to open A and we're going to make this stretch to the second fret on the A string while holding the fifth fret on the G and the B. So that 255, five, so we've got that. And then coming up to third fret there, let's see, on the A string. That's quite tricky. So. to go one more time through so we've got G, B, G and then we've got the third fret and pulling off to open Then we're going to be sliding that up here, okay? So I believe that's on the next part. One second. There we go. Fantastic. So, here we go. We've got this part here. So, then when we play our B, G, we're going to keep that fifth fret on the G on once we've played it. And slide it up and let it ring out, okay? So we'll be playing B string, G string, B string, and then sliding both of those fives up to sevens. And that's how you get that transition. Then we're going to let our first finger jump over to the fifth fret there on the A string. That's B, G, B, G, those strings. Hammer on pull off on the high E, then we're going to play 7th fret on the B string, pull off to open, we're going to play it one more time there, and hammer back on to the 5th fret, okay, so, and in that part I tend to mute with my 2nd finger on the B string, just after I've done that pull off before playing it again to hammer on and that gives you a little bit more of a staccato feel to the piece, okay? So we've got this part here. So we end up with that. And then we 
going to be sliding up here to play open low E, harmonic on the 12th fret, just resting our finger gently on the string, not pressing down, and directly above the fret. And then on the way back up, we play an open B, an open G, and then ending on an open E is optional, because that is the beginning of the next part we're going to. Okay, so that's it. Not too complicated. In part three, we're going to be taking a look at the chords that follow on from that. Okay, so that's going to be quite your fun. Uh, now I'm just going to play the whole thing so far, all the way through. So, I'm going to be going like this. See you all in the next episode, part three. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, comments, etc. All right, see ya.